Good morning! As promised today, I have a modified version uh, of some release work that is more appropriate for people who are pregnant. Uh, it's also completely appropriate for anyone who is not pregnant and is just not feeling like doing any lying down on your back for any particular reason or you are modifying. So all you will need today is a tennis ball. Yes, this is not a tennis ball. This one has a little bit of squish in it. So this is quite nice to lie on. However, if you're using a ball that's a little bit harder, what I'm getting some of my students to do is just to pop a little folded up towel on top of it. You can also have a couple of cushions handy if you just want to be able to support yourself, prop your head and your neck up a little bit, or if you have baby on board, maybe underneath your bump when we're lying on your side. And then optional cup of coffee singing in the rain. Alrighty, so we're going to start with your ball, towel over the top of it so we can take a little bit of that squish out and we're going to do a little rebalance for pelvic floor. So we're going to do this sitting up, I should have rolled my rug up, never mind, we'll live onto your ball. So I've got this right underneath my sit bone and then we're just doing a very gentle little drop on and off. So this is a release from the Franklin Method. If you happen to have a Franklin ball at home, that would be fabulous. Ideally just a smooth one rather than one of the textured ones. Otherwise tennis ball and towel. So you use your arms just to get a little bit of weight on that ball and then weight off. And then after this next one, we're just going to come down and just take a moment to sit and see how that's feeling from one side to the other. So just compare how your leg, how your hip is feeling and then we can come and do the same on your other side. I have to say a special thank you to Bernice this morning for these lovely cosy socks that she bought me from Germany. I've barely been out of them during lockdown. You'll probably see them featured in many videos where I've tried to do like a nice outfit, but then it's got cold and I don't like being cold. So it is a little bit of work through your abdominals just to help pick yourself up off that ball. And then again, come down and just compare once again. Now, depending on what your balance was like between your two sides to begin with, you may feel like you need to do a little bit more on your first side. If not, just take a breather, have a sip of your hot beverage. Otherwise, come back to your first side and we're just doing a couple. And you can just take as long as you need to rebalance yourselves between your two sides. I reckon that's feeling pretty even Stevens for me. So from here, we're gonna come into a little glute release. So your option with or without towel. I think I'm just gonna pop mine to one side for the moment. So basically you're just gonna choose a spot underneath your hip. Your other leg can just be wherever feels most comfortable. And we're just gonna take a few breaths. So we're just gonna think about starting to accept that ball into that area where we've placed it and depending on what you've been doing for the last couple of days this spot can often have a few little surprises so i've started kind of around the side but you can go more around to the back or wherever you feel you need to begin and then with that free leg we just go for a little slide up and down and your supporting leg can just be wherever feels most comfortable for you here you can stand it up you can straighten it out you could even do this lying down onto your side. If you are pregnant, you're not gonna do this lying down onto your back. And then we just go for a little lift and lower of that knee. And this is where we may find a few more surprises. And then we're just going to find another spot wherever you feel needs the most attention. And again, just take a moment to let that ball absorb find how you need to angle yourself in order to get the best pressure into that ball 
and then again we just go four Ooh, just finding my finding my zone that little slice out and in you could do this back down on your elbows if that's more comfortable if anyone has dubious wrists or you could put something underneath your hands and then again just go for that little wave in and out of that thigh bone so if you're pregnant really important that we're not doing too much stretching stretching as in big held stretches your body is producing that extra uh, elastin and relaxin to create that ability for your muscles to move if things get too loose that's not such a good thing alrighty come off that side folks and just take a moment to compare how that's feeling through those two hips sometimes it just takes a moment to kind of get rid of that feeling of there's been a ball digging into me but then hopefully you'll start to feel like something is shifting for the better okay let's do that on our other side and you may find that it's in a different spot for you here so I'm trying a different position I've come onto my elbow and then just start to go for your little waves up and down and then we just go for that little lift and lower of your knee just adjusting your body position to wherever is going to feel best and most supported for you today you can absolutely do these on a roller or a softer ball if you have one of those handy I just chose to use a tennis ball today because that's something that a lot of us just have around the house if you have children or animals or maybe you even play tennis who knows can't actually remember the last time I used a tennis ball for tennis probably at school and I was terrible at it alrighty shifting to your second spot just taking those breaths to start to accept that And then just going for your little waves up and down. It is the most glorious day today. I hope everyone is going to get a chance to get out and get some fresh air. And that everyone who is around them getting their fresh air is behaving themselves and giving you your bubble. And then we just go for those little waves one more time. And if you feel like you need to do another spot or two on your glutes, by all means, pause the video and repeat. We don't want to spend any longer than about 10 minutes on each spot. Alrighty, come on. Oh, leggies out in front of you, adjusting wardrobe. And just see once more if that's feeling like that's balanced from one side to the other. So we're going to do an ITB release with your ball now. So I'm going to give you an option. I'm going to demonstrate this lying down purely so I don't have to kind of reposition my camera and I don't really have a free wall space in my living room. However, if you're not comfortable lying down onto your side, if you have any issues with your shoulders, another nice way to do this is standing. Imagine that I'm standing. You can just have your ball between your leg and the wall and you can do the exact same movements that we're going to do lying on our side with yourself up against the wall. So there's also a lot less weight into that. So that can also be a good option if you're feeling really, really sore and you don't want to aggravate what's going on. Again, optional uh, towel or you could even pop a cushion over the top of your ball. Just takes a little bit of organisation and rebalance. So, ball is going underneath the top of your knee you can be up on your elbow as i am here or you may even choose just to come and lie down which again is going to mean that you have slightly less weight into that ball so you choose what's feeling best for you today and then we're just going for a little roll up and down so your hip can be down on the floor, you don't have to be up in a side plank as such. In fact, if your hip is down, you're going to get a little bit more weight into your ball. And then we're just going for a little twist and shout of your hips. Hopefully, 
more twist, less shout. But if you need to shout, just be considerate of your neighbours. And then you can either just bend and stretch your underneath leg, or if that's feeling okay, just have a little tantrum. And you can have your feet just nice and floppy and relaxed. And then we're gonna oh, sneak up a little further. This is a bit of a hot spot for some of us. So just take a moment to settle. And then we go for our little, little roll up and down. And good morning, Fascia. How you doing today? Or it may be evening for you by the time you're doing this, but that's all good. Good evening, Fascia. How's your day been? Rocking forward and back. And then again, single or double leg tantrum. Alrighty, so from here, we're going to bring your ball to the top of your hip. So it's a bit above your greater trochanter or that sort of sticky outy part at the top of your thigh bone. So again, just take a moment to relax into that ball. For a lot of you, you won't feel this one as much and that's okay. For me, I feel this one the most, but I'm a bit special. My hips are a little bit munted. A little roll up and down, but that's another story for another day. And then little roll forward and back. And then again, you can just go for those little bends in and out, either with just one leg or two. I'm just going to keep it with one in this spot. Alrighty, come off your ball or away from your wall. And again, just set yourself up with your legs out straight and see how that's feeling from one side to the other. So you might feel like that leg has got a little bit looser and longer. Sometimes you feel like you're dropping a little bit more into that side, or you may feel the opposite. So you may feel like that leg has actually got shorter and you've lifted. So basically your torso, your limbs are going to adjust the way that they need to. So I tend to be a little bit twisted through my pelvis that way. So often when I do this, it will just help me to come a little bit more into balance. All right, let's do that much on your other side. So we start just above your knee and then just rolling onto that ball. And remember, you can come down and hang out. Ooh, watching my coffee cup a little lower if you need. And then we just go for your little roll up and down. I bought this little squishy weighted ball from the warehouse about 12 years ago. And it's so great. There were a set of them, the other one's my bath plug. Little roll forward and back. I'm hoping that maybe in our new flat that we have an actual bath plug, but we'll soon see. And then we just go for our little kick, either of one leg or two, and then come up a little further and repeat. Little ease up and down. Little roll forward and back. And then little kick. Hello, my darling. Hi, darling. Top of hip. Oh, above that thigh bone. Little roll up and down. Little roll forward and back. Oh. And then you can kick either one leg or two. And then again, just take a moment to compare while you're doing that. I'm just going to check on my muffins in the oven. Two seconds. First batch is done, folks. They're going to be pretty damn good if I say so myself.
All right, thanks for waiting. So we will come and do a little quad release here. So what I'm gonna suggest is that we're gonna start in like a little half plank on your tummy. And then from here, we're just gonna come up, actually no, let's start here. So we're just gonna take the ball, place it at the top of your quad, and then just start to do a little sort of juicing action, like you're juicing an orange. And then we will just slowly move up that line of the front of your leg, just giving that a little bit of attention. Again, you can put something underneath your ball if that's feeling like it's a little bit too strong. Just slowly easing up that line. Alrighty, just place your ball down. Close your eyes and just take a moment to compare how that's feeling in that seated position. Now in particular, I'd like you to notice how your pelvis is sitting over your heels. If you feel like you need a little bit of support here, you can pop your cushion underneath your heels, or you can even do this seated in a chair. Alrighty, let's do that on the other side. We started down the bottom, didn't we? We might make sure we do the same. So we're just gonna go for that little juice up your thigh. Just giving those quads a nice little bit of self massage. Just encouraging that fluid to start moving through your connective tissue. I have to say it smells amazing in my living room. I have just made some vegan sugar free and gluten free peanut butter muffins. Miraculously, I was able to cobble together most of the ingredients had to get a little bit creative with some substitution. But you know, we've got to have something to look forward to in lockdown. Okay, just continuing that nice little massage up your thigh. Oh, getting into all of those little hot spots. And then again, just relax down and take a moment to compare and see how those two sides of your torso are feeling sitting into your heels. Now, depending on how you're feeling, you can either just repeat this once more or bump dependent, you can also come and do a little release on your hands up this way. So this may be a little bit much for lower back, depending on what you're managing in the front. So this is a nice option uh, if you are wanting to go a little bit deeper. Uh, otherwise, you can just modify and do what we've just done. So just going for a little bend in and out. You can come down and do this on your elbows. Or if you don't have a baby on board, you could even lie all the way down. And then we just go for a little waggle of your leg from side to side. And then we just come up and we'll do two more spots. So a little roll up and down. Oh, bending in and out. My quads are still well aware that we did bar a couple of days ago. And then a little wag from side to side. And then top of leg. So it'll roll up and down. Little bend in and out. And then side to side wiggle. Oh. All right, come up and just take a moment to compare once again. And then once you've had a moment to clock what may have changed through your body, we'll do the same on the other side, or we can keep going with our juicing. We're just going for that little roll forward and back. And then bending in and out. And then a little waggle. A little 
further up. If you're on your elbows or your hands, make sure that you bring them right back underneath your shoulders, just so we're gonna protect the tops of those shoulders. In and out of that leg. And then go for that little side to side waggle. And then top of five. Little bend in and out here. And then just go for that little wag from side to side. All right, relaxing that leg back. Just come up and do that little comparison one more time. And I'm just gonna take the other batch of muffins out of the oven. Two seconds. So we will come and do a little adductor release from here. So we're going to be lying onto your side. You may like to have your cushion between your ear and your shoulder. And this is where you may also like just to pop an extra bit of support underneath the bump if you feel like you need it. Or if you don't have a bump, don't worry. So we will come down to your side. You can either go this way, a little bit of extra height if you need it, or you can stretch that arm out, whichever feels best for your shoulder. So we're gonna take your ball just above your top knee. Your leg is ideally gonna be out at 90 degrees. If you have tighter hamstrings, you can just take your leg as far up as feels comfortable and manageable for you. So we're just gonna go for a little roll up and down. and then we will give the floor a little sweep. And with this, you may like to let your leg roll in slightly as you sweep forward, just to get a little bit more into that VMO on the inner part of your knee. And then just bending that leg back and we're just going for a little tiny lift and lower of that leg. Then from here, we're gonna bring that ball up a little bit further. And then again, we just go for that little roll in and out. And then we have our little wave up and down, letting that leg go for that little turn in, if that's feeling good. And then again, just going for those little waves. So doing the very top of one's inner thigh at this angle involves having to lie on your tummy, which obviously, if you have a bump, not such a good idea. So instead, we're just gonna bring ourselves back up to a seated position, bring that ball up to that top part of your hip, and we're just gonna give that a little manual massage. Really nice and simple. So you can choose how much pressure you apply there and then when you're ready again just come up to your seated position and just take that moment to compare how those hips are feeling from one side to the other and then let's do that on your other leg so ball just below your knee to begin And then we're just going for that little roll up and down. Your hand can be on the floor. I've just raised my arm because the sun is in my eyes. And as goodness knows when I'll be able to buy eye cream again, can't be risking any further premature aging. I wish that I'd panic bought some from the barn. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? And then just go for your little teeny taps. 
So you'll see that my foot is just really relaxed here. Try and resist the urge to point your foot and make it look jiggy. A relaxed foot will give you a deeper release. And then lengthening out, coming a little further up that leg. So move the ball rather than moving yourself towards ball. You won't have quite as much pressure, but it will just feel a little bit safer for bump. If this is still not feeling good at this angle, you can also just do that little manual massage at this higher spot from a seated position. And then little taps. And then carefully bringing yourselves up. Just bring that ball up into that top line of your adductors and just give that a little bit of a little bit of a once over. Gently does it. And then just bringing that away, bring yourself to that seated position once again. And then just see how that's feeling from one side to the other. Now, I'm just going to ease myself back towards the door. I'm hoping that my husband doesn't suddenly decide to come through it. And we're just going to do a little release of your sacroiliac joint. In fact, maybe I can do this against the couch. Improvising on the fly. So we're just going to have your ball into that little knobbly bit where your spine and your pelvis meet. So we're just going to think of going for a little slide forward of one leg and then back. So you're sliding the side that doesn't have the ball underneath it. So we're just going into a tiny bit of safe rotation here. And then from there, with your free leg, just go for a little tiny slide up and down, keeping that slight offset position of your pelvis. So we're just bringing a little bit more weight into that ball. And then you can just go for those little lifts and lowers once more. You'll see that this is a really tiny movement. Alrighty, bring that side away. Just rebalance your hips for a moment. Take a second to compare sides. You may feel a little bit longer through that side of your pelvis. Or not, so there's nothing specific that you're supposed to feel here, but your body will just adjust how it needs to. And then we come to your other side. And take a moment to scooch into that correct position. So there's quite a distinct little sort of knobbly bit at that SIJ, that sacroiliac joint, so where your lower spine meets your pelvis. And then we're just going for those little slides of your opposite leg. And then from there, again we slide. And you can have a little bit of a draw in of those deep abdominal muscles just to support your lower back. And that will also just invite a little bit more pressure into that ball. And then again, we just go for that little tiny waggle up and down of your leg. And then lengthening that leg forward. Yeah, turn the other one off. Alrighty, take that leg away, take the ball away, your leg can stay. And just again, take a moment to see how that's feeling from one side to the other. So we're going to do a little shoulder release from here. So I'm going to do this sitting on the floor, but you're welcome to sit in a chair or even stand to do it. 
however you're choosing to sit or stand, I would just ask that you make sure that we're keeping that nice number 11 parallel alignment with your feet and legs. So when we do that, we're really allowing the bones of your skeleton to fall into that ideal anatomical alignment. As soon as we start to do anything funky with our feet, basically that has a follow on chain of events happening all the way up through your spine. So we're gonna grab hold of your ball, a little squeeze into that ball with your hand, and we're just thinking of having that light grip here. So like you're holding on to a cup of coffee. You can also choose to do this with a water bottle. So from here, we're just going to lift each finger away from your ball and just give it a little bit of a circle. So let's just say four in each direction. As we move towards your index finger, that is going to get slightly easier. So this seemingly random exercise is to release the top of your shoulders. It's a nerve release. Ooh. There we go. And then from here, holding onto that hand with your opposite arm, we just start to do a little turn, like you're turning a doorknob. If you're doing this holding onto a water bottle, our aim is not to let the water slosh. And then from here, we're just going to take some imaginary sips from your ball. Or from your water bottle. If you are using a water bottle, do make sure the lid is on nice and tight. Should put that disclaimer first to any shouldn't I? Good. Last one. And then we relax your other arm and just go into a little side line figure of eight. And then we go back the other way. Alrighty, just relax that arm down for a moment. Close your eyes and I'd like you to just take a second to compare how that's feeling through your two shoulders. And then we'll do that much on your other side. So, finding what we call our hug a tree position, or if you're a dance person, it's basically your first, but we have that slightly extended wrist. And then we're doing our little circles with each finger. I have done this one in an earlier video with a slightly different variation. But a little repetition never hurt anyone. And then from there, holding onto your arm and turning your doorknob. And then six. And then relaxing that arm down. And just moving into that nice little figure of eight. And then reversing. All right, relaxing that arm down and just take a moment to compare how that's feeling from one side to the other. We're just gonna do a little stretch for your neck and your shoulders now. So we're gonna reach your left arm up and over your head, tip your head towards that arm, shoulders away from your ear, and then we're just making like a little jazz hand, spirit fingers number here. And then we're just going for a little glide up and down. So keeping that stretch dynamic. Just two more of these. And then we're gonna bring your arm slightly behind your shoulder, 
turn your head down so you're in a diagonal and then we just repeat that so with your arms slightly behind you we start to get a little bit more stretch along that inner part of your arm and maybe even towards your hips And then just relaxing that arm down. Bring yourself up and just check out those shoulders once again. If it helps, close your eyes. And then opening your eyes once more. And we'll do other side. So again, of course you can do this sitting in a chair or standing. Sitting cross-legged. But just want to make sure that we are symmetrical. You can tuck your toes under and get a little stretch for your plantar fascia as well. That one can be a mite in pencil. And then tip into that diagonal, hands come slightly behind you and we lift and lower. Bringing your head back into the centre, we're just going to grab your, let's grab your ball actually to do this. So we're just going to interlace your hands over your ball, placing that onto your sternum. And we're going to take a nice big breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're just going to give your breastbone a little press with that ball, getting your ribcage melt forward. Inhale, and then exhale. Little melt of that breastbone. Just twice more here. Breathing in and then releasing that down. Last one. Exhaling to let that go. Moving that ball away, we're going to take your cushion and tuck that underneath your arm. Close off your opposite nostril. Little single lung breath here. So we're going to breathe in. To that side of your ribcage and then breathe out. Absorb your pillow in towards you. Big breath in. And then breathe out. Just twice more. Last one. Take your cushion away and just take a few breaths into the center and I just want you to close your eyes and compare how the two sides of your rib cage are feeling with your breath. Hopefully we're starting to feel like there's a little bit more movement on that side that we're just focused on. And then we're ready to open your eyes and we'll do the same thing on your other side. Closing off that nostril. If you have a blocked nose feel free to leave this bit out. Breathing in, and then absorb. Fluff up your pillow with your breath, and then pillow becomes part of your lungs. Twice more. Last one. Again, just take a couple of breaths to compare how those two sides are feeling. And then we're just going to take a big breath in. Big stretch, yawn if you need. And then release those arms down. Let's just do that twice more. Breathing in. And then relaxing your arms. One more. Good, juicy breath in. And then letting that go. Alrighty, thank you for joining me this morning. I'll be back soon with another Pilates workout for you. Have a great day.